Hi everybody, today I will show you how to make Elementor mobile friendly. So let's just begin. Alright, so to make the Elementor mobile friendly, first of all you need to install the Elementor. So if you haven't installed the Elementor, all you need to do is go inside the plugin and click on the add new plugin. And from here what you need to do, you have to search for the Elementor. Okay, so as you can see this, we have the Elementor website builder. So we have to install and activate this plugin. After that, what we need to do, we will simply go inside the pages and create the new page here. And from here, what you need to do, you have to click on the edit with Elementor. All right, so here, as you can see this, we are inside the Elementor editor. So here, first of all, let's just click on the add template here. So in the add template, I would simply select the hero category here and as you can see this in the hero category i only have this template as the free template which i can use other than that we have the pro templates only okay so let's click here all right so now you can see this we have our hero template here so if i just change the screen here to change the screen you would have to enable the responsive mode that i have already enabled so let's just click on the mobile portrait now you will be able to see that we have the template that it's responsive to the mobile. So it simply means that it is a mobile friendly template. Okay. But when you try to create something similar like this, you won't be having the mobile responsive design. You would have to create it manually. Okay. So how can you do this? All right. So let's go back to the desktop version and let's just disable the responsive mode. Okay. So let's try to do same thing from the scratch all right so let's click here and i would be creating same hero section from the scratch okay so first of all i would actually need a new container okay so let's click on add new container so this would be a single column structure all right so now i actually need to know the font of this text okay so let's click here and click on the style and click on the typography so this is actually the pop-ins okay so we have the pop-ins in the light. So we have the pop-ins here. Okay. So let's click here. I would be having the heading here. Okay. So after that, we have this heading as well. So let's just drag another heading as well. And after that, we have this text. So this is also an heading. Okay. So let's click here and drag the heading again here. And after that, we have this contact button. Okay. So let's just go back. And what I need to do, let's just drag the button here. All right. So now let's just try to create something similar to our hero section. Okay. So if I just click here, welcome to our website. So let's change the text. And after that, we actually have this text. So let's copy this from here and paste the value here. And in the last, we have our short description. So let's click here, copy the text, paste the value here. All right. So now what we need to do, we have to align this into the center. Okay. So let's click on the center here and center this as well and center this as well. Okay. So now what I need to do, I have to change the font size here. Okay. So the first one actually has the font size of 16 px okay so let's click here and change the color of the text that would be black and now let's just go inside the typography and so we have the roboto here so let's select the pop-ins here and this would be and it would be 16 px okay and here in the transform it would be uppercase this is looking fine and what i need to do I actually have to increase the letter spacing. So let's just click here. So this is actually 10 px and we have the line height of 1.5 em. Okay. So let's go back here. So this would be 10 px and line height would be 1.5. Okay. So this would be in em format. Okay. So this is it. So now what we need to do, we have to do the same thing with our second heading. So let's change the color from here. That would be black color. And let's click on the heading here. Okay, so click on the typography 
and click here i can see that we have the pop-in and we have the 85 px all right so let's go back click here so this is actually h1 so i actually have to change the font size to the 80 px okay so this is actually 800 and we have letter spacing of 1px change the font family from here and this would be 85 okay so i think this is way more bold so i have to change the value to the semi bold okay so this is looking better okay so now in the last we have the short description so let's click here and let's just click on the typography so this has the 22 light and everything is fine here so let's click here and black color click on the typography size is 22 px and we have this light we have the light and the width and the decoration we have none and we have the line height of one here okay so let's change the phone family here so that is pop-ins here all right so this is looking better and in the last we have this button so in the button we actually have contact us and we have to align this into the center and go inside the style i have to change the color here so that would be the theme color or maybe a lighter color okay so maybe the lighter color so let's just make it a bit lighter here okay so this is looking fine it's not exactly the same color just like this but it is looking fine okay so we have this now let's just add the border radius 10 px or maybe more than that all right and we have to increase the size of our button here so that would be medium or we can go here with the large or maybe we can go here with the extra large here okay so we have the extra large go back in the settings and this will be 40 px and okay so this is looking not exactly same but this is looking similar okay so now we have a similar kind of design here it is not exactly same but this is a kind of similar looking design okay so now what i need to do okay so i actually have to decrease the size of the font here so here let's click on the typography and this would be the pop-ins again and this would be 30 and let's just decrease the size of the button maybe it should be one it okay so this is looking fine and now let's just go back decrease this to the large okay so this is looking fine now all right so we have created the similar kind of design now let's just change the background color so that would be a kind of grayish color okay so this is looking fine now if i just change the responsive mode here and we go back to the mobile portrait here now you will be able to see that the template design is kind of responsive design okay but we have created the same design but this is not the responsive design so how can you make this the responsive design that is really easy okay so all you need to do here so first of all let's just uh, click here and i would have to decrease the font size okay so let's just click here on the typography okay so now you can see this we have this mobile icon on the phone size this simply means that this setting would only apply to the mobile version of this website or this page okay so here i would have to change the size here so that would be 14 maybe or i can go here with 20 all right so i think this would look fine we have the 14 px and now what i need to do i have to align this into the center so let's just go inside the content so we have this into the center okay so we have the similar kind of design and after that you can see this our design is looking fine on the template but in our own design you can see this this is looking really terrible so we have to change the font size here so let's click here and go inside the typography and we have to change the font size here okay so let's just decrease the value okay so this is looking far more better now so let's put it to the 30 add px okay so after that what we have 
we have this text now you can see this we have to change the font size of this again so let's click here click on the typography and we have to change the value here so that would be 10 px maybe or we can go here with 12 px okay so now you can see this the size is looking fine so now what i need to do i have to change the value of the line height so this would be 1.5 okay so this is looking fine now and in a similar way i can change the size of our button so let's click here and it would be medium now okay so this is looking fine and you can actually see here we don't have any space before our heading so we can simply add the space here so let's click here and click on the advance so from here let's just add the padding here so this would be 40 from the top or we can also add 60 maybe or we can go here with the 80 as well and the similar way we can add the padding at the bottom okay so this would be 40 px here okay so this is looking fine now now you can see here that our hero section that we have created from the scratch is mobile friendly okay so now if i just delete this one from here now you will be able to see our hero section is looking really great here and i can also change the padding here from the top this is looking way more so this can be 70 or 60 as well okay so this is looking fine now now if i just go back to the desktop mode you will be able to see that we don't have any spacing here now you can see this we don't have any padding here but if you go back to our mobile portrait or the mobile screen you can see this we have the padding here it simply means that we have made our design mobile responsive so if i just go back to the desktop now you'll be able to see the change of icon here so now we have the desktop icon here okay so let's just add the spacing here so that would be 60 px from here okay so i have to uncheck this okay so this is looking great now and if i just click back to the mobile screen now you can see this we have the mobile friendly design here okay so this is how we can make our design responsive or mobile friendly on the elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel